last video we saw about the history of surrogacy and its legal timeline in this uh, video we'll cover about the salient features of the surrogacy regulation act 2021 which is currently in practice this is varsha advocate from law chambers of gr hari and indian surrogacy law center so this act was passed by both the houses of the parliament in 2021 but it came into force only on 25th of january 2022 So this special law aims to prohibit commercialization of surrogacy, to reduce unethical practices, and to stop exploitation of surrogate mothers. This act particularly bans commercial surrogacy from offering any financial benefits to the surrogate mother beyond any medical expenses and insurance coverage for the surrogate mother. Thus, altruistic surrogacy, which will be completely without any monetary transaction, will be permitted under this act. This also includes selling and buying of human embryos or gametes and trading of services of surrogate mother. So, if commercial surrogacy is practiced, then it is an offence punishable with imprisonment for a term which may extend to ten years, with fine which may extend to ten lakh rupees. So, there are few eligibilities and criteria uh, that are prescribed under the Act. First is the eligibility for taking up surrogacy. Number one. the primary requisite for taking up surrogacy is that the intending couple should have some medical condition that necessitates a gestational surrogacy second is only legally married indian couple above the age of 21 years can avail surrogacy under this act third the intending couple should not have any surviving children biologically or through adoption before they are going to proceed forward with surrogacy under this act fourth the intending couple should be married and they should be within the age of 23 to 50 in case of a woman and 26 to 55 in case of a male in if an intending woman meaning only the woman is opting for surrogacy who is a divorcee or a widow according to the act is willing to take up uh, services under surrogacy then she should be within the age of 35 to 45 and uh, sixth the women shall be permitted to act as a surrogate mother only when she is within the age of 25 to 35 meaning the surrogate mother should be within the age of 25 to 35 and uh, should be married and should have a child of her own seventh no woman shall act as a surrogate by providing her own gametes and a surrogate mother cannot be a surrogate for more than one time in her lifetime so these are few eligibilities that both the intending couple and the surrogate mother are required to satisfy in order to proceed forward with the act now there are certain criteria that are to be fulfilled the intending couple should obtain a certificate of recommendation from the surrogacy board the intending couple should uh, should obtain a certificate of essentiality what is the reason essentiality and it should be issued by the appropriate authority by the act third a certificate of medical indication in favor of either of the intending couple or any one uh, only the intending women or the intending uh, father and it should be obtained from the district medical board fourth the intending couple should have to apply for an order concerning the parentage of the child to be born out of the surrogacy from a first class magistrate or above fifth the surrogate mother should have an insurance coverage for 36 months nearly 3 years covering postpartum delivery complications sixth the surrogate mother should obtain a eligibility certificate from appropriate authority mentioned under this act seventh a medical certificate to show mental and physical uh, fitness of the surrogate mother and it should be obtained uh, from a medical uh, practitioner some medical registered medical practitioner eighth the surrogate mother must sign the return consent form to undergo the surrogacy procedure ninth finally an important right that the surrogate mother can exercise is an option to withdraw the consent before the implantation process so once all these requirements are completed all these processes are over we need to look into the surrogacy regulation rules of 2022 where they have given few forms that ha- that has to be filled in order to uh, move forward with specific concerns form 1 which states the application form for indian origin or intending women for surrogacy and it has to be addressed to the board basic details uh, information such as the intending uh, mothers and fathers details has to be filled form 
the consent of the surrogate mother and agreement for surrogacy. Uh, basic details about uh, the procedure and the surrogate mother details should be filled in the form. Form 3. Application form for registration of surrogacy clinics. Form 4. Certificate of registration of surrogacy clinics. This uh, part is with respect to the uh, surrogacy clinics. Form 5. Uh, this is a form where we can go for an appeal to the state or central government to move against the order of the concerned appropriate authority given under this act. So first we saw about the eligibility who can take up surrogacy and then the requirements that needs to be fulfilled before uh, moving into the process and then the forms that has to be filled accordingly. Thank you.